From 2040 to 2050, hydrogen demand rises in secondary supply falls by 1.7 million ounces. So even if hydrogen demand was lower, the platinum market could still be in deficit owing to the decline in production. As we head towards 2050, many of today's mines will be exhausted, with implications for the associated processing infrastructure and jobs. Might the remaining mines continue to have long tails of production, and could they justify their processing overheads? Will tomorrow's mines be fully mechanized and achieve net zero emissions? Now, Russia and the northern limb in South Africa predominantly make up tomorrow's supply base, given the high palladium content of their ore. Russia is set to become the largest producer of all PGMs by 2050. So supply will become inelastic to price because nickel pays the bills. There is a possibility that shallow Zimbabwe supply could replace depleting mature South African supply. The regional distribution of supply in South Africa is likely to change with a much greater emphasis on the northern limb. So what is the potential of what is left? How much do we need to pay for it? In other words, what is the PGM incentive price? Now, vehicle production peaks between now and 2050, as city streets become overcrowded and personal vehicles are phased out. If combustion engines are outlawed, there could be a recycling peak as governments force combustion-powered engines into early retirement. Global PGM recycling is forecast to peak at about 8.3 million ounces in 2038, coinciding with a predicted peak in autocatalyst recycling, which then provides about 88% of secondary supply. As electric vehicles take up an increasing share of the market, a tipping point is reached in 2038, at which a number of end-of-life diesel and gasoline vehicles starts to decline. So does the recovered PGM volume from, so, from spent catalysts. Now, SFA's long-term market extrapolation is based on current forecasts of supply and demand out to 2050. This gives an unrealistic view of the market since it does not include any market reaction to price signals from over or under supply markets. The widely diverging market balances, expanding deficits for platinum and widening sur surpluses for palladium and rhodium imply record high platinum prices, while palladium and rhodium prices collapse. From 2030, the higher rhodium and platinum prices favor the South African basket over those from Russia and or North America. So in conclusion, hydrogen is the key long-term use for platinum. Promote PGMs heavily as platinum structural surplus right now helps adoption and will unlock the mission critical metals of iridium and ruthenium supply as well. Coordinated industry intervention is required to create long-term sustainable PGM markets.